on, everybody? I am the Game Salmon, and welcome back to Five Nights at the Krusty Krab. Okay, I got a level with you guys. This is my second time trying to record this video. During the first time I recorded this video, I beat the game, I beat Night 6, and then when I was ready to edit, it turns out that the video files were corrupted, I couldn't edit them, I couldn't salvage them, and so here I am trying to record this again so that I can have video proof on YouTube that I beat Five Nights at the Krusty Krab. So I already kind of know what I'm doing. And so let me just, here, I'm just going to beat the game for you guys, okay? We're going to beat Nights 4 through 6, and then we're going to move on with our lives. Alrighty, Night 6. Let's go. Oh, hey. Uh, congrats on almost making it through your first week. Thank um, you. I know I said I wouldn't call you tonight unless there's an emergency, but keep an eye on the animatronics for me. They've been acting really off today. Uh, one of them even tried to get into the office during a quiet period. I managed to get it out using the flashlight trick, but I'm not sure how well that'll work at night if they're already inside the office. There's a fair bit of lights in there to begin with. Anyway, keep your guard up. I'll keep you posted. Stay safe. Thank you very much. I'll do what I can. Oh! Squidward, go away. Oh, you scared me there for a second. Alright, so check it out. Since I've already beaten Knights 4, 5, and 6, I have a strategy that seems to help me get through this entire game. So check it out. Sandy... up oh, SpongeBob's still there. Sandy is at my door over here on the right. Now, if Sandy's over here at this door, uh, I can just leave it open. Sandy doesn't come try to kill me. It's actually pretty nice, actually, now that I think about it. Let me do this, because Sandy's stuck here, basically. Yeah, she's not going to attack me, as long as I kind of keep an eye on her. Now, I'm going to close this for a second, just to make sure. Mr. Krabs likes to come in on the left side, and so uh, I think I kind of have to keep this door just shut at all times. And then I just keep an eye on Sandy, keep an eye out for Squidward. If SpongeBob shows up, I close the door on SpongeBob. It seemed to work well for me, especially come night six, so... Alright, let's 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 beat this game. 4 a.m., almost 5 a.m., and we have 41% power left. Really, we're gonna get through night four with no problem. It's kind of nice, because this night four is a little bit more active than when I initially played through night four, uh, because I think I broke the game, and night four and night five, the last time I played through them, I mean, I, I felt like I bugged out the game and, like, no one was attacking me. So I'm glad, I'm glad some things are happening. Well, now that I think about it, no one's attacking me again. I mean, Sandy's there, but I wouldn't say that she's truly attacking me. I mean, SpongeBob went away, Squidward's not showing up. I don't know what Mr. Krabs is doing. Maybe Mr. Krabs is trying to kill me, I don't know. The door's shut, he can't get to me. It just turned 5 a.m. 32% power. Let's finish off this night. Oh! Squidward, I was just talking about you. You and your ugly, stupid nose. Last episode, I was talking how he doesn't have his bulbous nose, but he actually has a nose. He's just really small. So, either way, go on. Go away, buddy. Come on, you should be gone by now. I'm flashing the light at you. Thank you. Sandy's still there. 26% power. Come on, turn to 6 a.m. So that we can move on to night five and further progress through the game. Come on, I know you love me, Squidward. There's plenty of love to go around, but I'd prefer if you just go away. Please, Mr. Tentacles. Please, thank you. And 6 a.m. Night four complete. Night five! Hey, things are bad, to say the least. I wasn't able to get a warning to you before the door's locked for the night. Well, that sucks. But consider this as that warning once the doors open at 6 a.m get out as fast as you can the animatronics they attacked me today chased me all the way up to the office where i managed to lock myself in until i saw an opening to get away now that works for me since during the day we have no power restrictions but well your generator won't work like that unfortunately stay safe my friend I look forward to finally meeting you after all this. Uh-huh. Face to face, you know? Yeah. Good luck. Thank you! I think you're gonna need it. I will not need luck! Because I have a flawless strategy! 
I mean, oh god, there's SpongeBob. Okay, I gotta, I gotta still pay attention. I mean, this strategy works fantastically, but I do have to watch out for SpongeBob. So, gotta focus. You know, it's really weird that Sandy just kind of stands there and doesn't actually attack me. I do think that there is a Sandy jump scare. I don't know if this is an exploit to the game. Oh, there's SpongeBob. Oh, I almost didn't see it there. SpongeBob just kind of crouched there behind Sandy. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Sandy is not supposed to just be standing there. I think that she's supposed to come attack me. I, you know, I don't know, but all I know is that she doesn't, and I get to survive, and there you go, and, and thus here we are, 3 a.m. with 54% power left, which means that we are right on target for beating the night. You know, Squidward really confuses me. It's like Squidward only appears once every few hours, but when he does appear, man, does he not want to go away. Like, he'll stay there for a solid 30 seconds, and it takes, like, a million flashes in his eyes to make him go away, but hey, if he doesn't want to come over here in night five, that's fine by me. Night five complete! I'm too good. I'm too good at this game. Night six, let's go. Let's beat the game. This is it. Recording safety message 24, uh, take three, action. Uh, if you're hearing this, then you're in grave danger. Uh, this restaurant has likely been abandoned under the Krusty Krab Operating Handbook, Section 19, Paragraph 87. Uh oh! The establishment has likely been wait! overrun by a threat- Wait a minute! Attempting to breach Whoa, the wait a minute! Most Yo, I didn't know she could do that! I didn't know she would do that! Okay, so if Sandy's at my door, and I pull up my camera, then I'm dead! Okay, alright, I didn't know that! You learn something new every time you play the game. I think that Sandy jump scare cut off the phone message, and once a phone message plays in this game, it doesn't replay. So all that phone message was saying, I mean, it wasn't really a phone message, it was basically a tape recording. All it was saying was, hey, look, if you're still in there, you're probably gonna die. Plankton's trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula. This place is being abandoned. And, uh, you know, good luck. You're gonna need it. God have mercy on your soul, that kind of stuff. But it's okay, because we're professionals. We're gonna survive the night. It's fine. I'm not afraid of Sandy anymore. I know how to deal with you, Sandy. Coming out of nowhere like that trying to trick me. Guys, I honestly wish I had more commentary for you, but I, I don't really have much because, uh, you know, like I said at the beginning of this video, I accidentally ruined my recording. I mean, it wasn't really my fault, just my face cam stuff got all screwed up, and so I had to just play through the entire game again. I, you know, I, this is, this is the best I can give you. I'm trying to give you the best content that I can. And, and I guess this will have to do. 3 a.m. with 61% power left. We are experts at this game. Again, because this is my second time playing through the game. So, I hope everyone's enjoying this video. I hope you guys are getting... Oh! SpongeBob appeared and then left. Oh, I didn't realize he could do that. Or why would he do that? I, I, I feel that if SpongeBob was there, he would just go ahead and try to kill me, but... Whatever, if Spongebob wants to go away, that's fine, too. Um, okay, it kind of feels like I'm still learning new things about the game. Like, I didn't know the thing about Sandy. Maybe, you know, maybe Spongebob can't kill me over here if Sandy's there. I don't know. I'm not going to take any chances. If Spongebob shows up, I'm shutting the door. I, you know, I, let me, let me just beat this game. See, he was just there and he just decided to go away. I honestly think that Squidward is the only character that can kill me right now. I think I'm safe from quite literally everyone else. There we go. Night six complete. <laughs> and Five Nights at the Krusty Krab is finally over. I should have beat this game three years ago. And with that, the restaurant was closed forevermore. The building simply stood there, silent and empty. In time, folks forgot of the restaurant's existence. Despite the success of the first few weeks, the disaster that occurred there was swept under the rug, unnoticed for the rest of time. Well, almost. There you have it! 
Five Nights at the Krusty Krab and the most perfect strategy to help you get through this game. If you ever had trouble playing this game, and gosh, I'm really, ha I I'm really happy to have this game done after three years of not having complete. Every once in a while, every I would say about like once every two months, someone would comment, Hey, you know you never beat Five Nights at the Krusty Krab? Well, I'm glad I have this done. And I know there's other games that I haven't finished that I'm sure you guys will be telling me in the comment section, Oh, you haven't finished this game, which... I'm actually going to try to get to those unfinished games, so just keep up the reminders. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click on the end cards at the end of this video. Also, be sure that you are subscribed to me so you can stay up to date with all the other videos that I'll be posting soon. Until the next video, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.